Good, back again here with part two of the uh, gold and silver miners update from, from Borak. We just did roughly, I think, 20, 25 charts in part one. You can check that out. Um, but here, I'll just leave it on to you, Borak, to, to keep it going. We ended up yeah. with the SBSW chart here. So yeah, let's call uh, Banya Stillwater Limited. That's where we left it off. And I was saying, um, I don't know why people are so obsessed with it. Loads of people keep asking me, but there is nothing here um, bullish whatsoever until the this blue downtrend breaks. And you can see that was a double resistance there at the blue plus green. And it came down from there. And it may even, um, unlikely maybe, but it may even break this green bottom band and keep on sinking and maybe even get all the way to the red plus blue at some point at around 220 and then a rally to that red top band. Um, I'm not saying it's going to get there, but it is possible if it this sideways green channel gets resolved to the downside, that is quite a possibility. Only if that blue top band and that green top band breaks, if they both break, then we should see a rally starting a big one. Um, the Santa Cruz Silver, that green mega resistance from 2016, you know, how many touches here? One, two, three, four, five, six. So yeah. that level is quite interesting. Anything above uh 57 cents now uh, let's say 60. anything above 60 cents is going to become a long right clear clear bullish breakout if it gets there that red diagonal resistance and support line has been broken we may get a back test that dip may be also uh, a long signal right around what three 32 cents and then get to 60 and then all the way to new all-time highs, maybe. Yeah. So um, this is SIL, not the ETF, but the silver crest. The red downtrend is broken the, after the break of that blue resistance. That was, you know, really precise resistance that was broken. And the red bull flag is gone, which means we should be headed at least to a new high. Um, and this is, again, one of the really strong ones, like the Nevada, Franco Nevada one. Um, look at this, the rally. I mean, silver yeah. has been dropping, right, from 2011. And what's happening with this stock? So uh, this is another well-run company, I guess. Yeah, I also uh, bought that blue, little breakout oh. there. So that's beautiful. Yeah, this yeah. one, you bought it. Yeah, it was uh, just, as you mentioned, perfect, you know, Yes. Perfect breakout, you know. It it, it was a great setup. So. Yeah, again in March, my first video on yeah. the miner, yeah. I mentioned about this breakout. Um this is Silver One Resources, um S L V R F. Um and I think there may be a Canadian version yes. of this. Yeah. So um, but I was looking into the American one. Um that blue internal resistance, if it can be broken. Blue top band, maybe pull back, and then the red top band would be the target. Very tiny stocks these are. Mm -hmm. um, this is Sandstorm Gold, and the golden bottom band, golden top band, this is here, is a, a downtrend. The red resistance was broken. Yeah, again, back nice. in March. Yeah. We rallied, and it has to get to that golden top band and smash through. That's the only way to start um, another rally, possibly to the previous highs of 13, 14. <clears throat> this is Silver Wolf Corporation from Canada again. And the blue, well, not my favorite kind of, because it's just too thin trading. It's not yeah. liquid enough. But I think one of the members asked me, so I made this, you know, made this chart um blue one is gone the red one was gone but the back test didn't hold so i'm not really a big fan of this let's skip this one um sky harbor um that green bull flag has formed 
it's actually trying to bounce off the green and golden. So it's actually a dip. And if it starts to rally, I think we're going to get to that green top band and eventually break it. And uh, what happens after that is that red, red top band may be broken too at some point. And that would actually open the way for, I mean, if you look at the longer term, this green downtrend, that is a perfect downtrend, was broken. The red top band is holding it off. But once that red is broken too, so any move beyond $1 is, well, extremely it's yeah it's it's amazing that would be a massive this sideways action would be a result to the upside so buy syh <laughs> above <laughs> one so yeah. that that can go easily seven eight ten times right it's you know the i'm not saying it's going to get to the all-time highs which you know you never know but break out of this side of this kind of thing from this is here in 2014. So like 10 years sideways action, that should become an explosive rally. One question yeah. Laura, to that chart. Um, where we are right now, you know, at the bottom of that green, uh, excuse me, the, the golden uptrend there, or bear flag, uh, do yeah. you see any buy signal right here, you know, at the lower side? Or do you want to see, you know, a reaction to, to the double well, support there? Honestly, that golden channel is a bear flag, yeah. right? So this could easily get resolved to the downside. And that would be horrible. I mean, it could get all the way to, you know, 18 cents, 20 cents again, which is why I would rather wait to get to the green, pull back maybe, and then a break the upside, at least to get to the golden, and then break that red top band. Okay. Right? Okay. I wouldn't buy it just yet, because this is a bear flag potential. Cool. TFPM, um, this is triple flag, precious metals. Not my favorite bull flag. It is not really a bull flag, but it's this, this golden and red. Again, the red channel is not really a channel. It has to get to the top band first. Um, but yeah, this is again, one of the, it's, it's kind of an overperformance here compared to the others. Um, this is Vista. Another very old chart. You will find it really very interesting. Wow, that goes way back. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> and I mean, these lines <laughs> are sometimes so magical. That red one. Look at this. Yeah. <laughs> and also right? the, the, the time between, you know, almost, well, not perfectly, but they are pretty identical, right? Well, yes. to some yes. degree. So. Like decades, like yeah. two decades and two decades. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah. But yeah, the... The blue veg was broken to the downside. That was very bearish. But then it's trying to break back above the blue broken support. And it's getting trying to get out of the golden downtrend. That little, not, well, not so little, but in the bigger picture, it's a little one. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I think there is a good chance it will break. Then if that red mm, gigantic resistance is broken, which is at 76 cents, then the blue, maybe, just maybe, it's going to rally. But either way, I think this there is a reason for this company <laughs> has performed so badly. Maybe, I don't know, they're, is it their reserves that are depleted or something like that? It could but, be, yeah. Uh, it's not really. I mean, I leave it to the fundamental guys. Wiper right silver viper minerals golden downtrend a break to the upside but again seven cents very small penny stock Vizsla is um uh, let me put it on the weekly so that blue bottom band held right mm -hmm. it is this blue bottom band blue top band and the golden top band if it pulls we pull back and then a break Maybe that blue top band will be tested. Um, WPM, which is Wheaton Precious, again, one of the big boys. That blue support, this is the COVID crash. Mm -hmm. The green one is the obvious target when it gets there. That becomes, I think it will become a resistance. And that's still the target because that blue resistance is gone. 
after the bounce off the green support. This is a nice breakout. Maybe we come back for a back test, which would be around 50, 50, $50.20, and then rally to that green top band. And the WRLG, um, that was that was really one of my favorites. Even though, yes, it's very thin trading, but it looked really nice until yeah. it did. This green one, breakout failed. Red breakout failed and the golden support breaking. So this is not a good one. And that is actually my final chart. So that's 44 stocks for you guys. I hope it helps. I'm 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 sure it is. Um, maybe to end, you know, this uh, second part here. Uh, could you show? <clears throat> excuse me. Could you show the uh, the uh, gold to silver chart and maybe you give your opinion on that? I don't know if you have anything prepared, but you know, yeah. I yeah. think you gold you know. Silver. I have yeah. it. I have it just to gold to platinum, and we have um, somewhere gold to silver. Because personally, this is one of the big, you know, signs for me personally that the miners, you know, is is going yeah. to perform really, really well here over the next. I think you were. I saw your chart, and it it so it looked at the very short term, like mm -hmm. this this move, right? This yeah. move actually. So this is a weekly chart, and it look it goes back to two thousand eleven. So this is the COVID crash. Well. On the gold, it's basically rallying against silver. This is the COVID action. Then COVID ended and we came down. Silver outperformed, broke down golden. Two golden supports were broken. <laughs> I'm just going to talk about this red support that has been bro broken recently. Okay. Just recently, that red bottom band is broken. The obvious target is that blue bottom band. This could become a bull flag, obviously. So, but I think we're going to get there now. And if we look at the short term, I think this is what you were looking at. This, yeah, even though the uh, you know the red line that you have is a bit different from yes. mine. I don't know why, but it's a bit different. But anyways, yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, this is gold to silver ratio. Um, yeah, there is from TVC. Oh, okay. I just divided the two, you know. But anyways, yeah. yeah okay. If you were if you were doing um manual like an with an equation, right? It could be different. Yeah, it could be. It, yeah. it is. So yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. But um, but yes, this red veg, this short term veg, you you had it upside down because you were looking into the silver to gold ratio. I think. Yeah. yeah. Right. But still, it, it it's the same outcome, but. Inverted, yes, but yeah. So. I think this is broken now. So I think um, the gold to silver ratio is going to come down. So silver will outperform, and I think the the um, uh, the ratio is at seventy eight, and it's going to come down to probably around 70, 70, 71. That blue bottom man is the target ultimately, and then we'll see whether it can move beyond that blue bottom mm -hmm. man. But I think at the moment we have um, we have a really big breakdown. So if we look at the weekly chart again, that red supports break is is a substantial one. So I'm oh yes, remove it is. That wedge. I'm gonna remove that one, right? So this red supports break, like this is a you know big breakdown. Yeah. So also, you know, for the past two years, you know, it seems like, you know, a ball dropping and it and the bounce is getting smaller and smaller and smaller. And yeah. then finally it gives in. Yeah, so exactly. That's, that's perfect for me. As a technician, I love to see that, you know, the, yeah, exactly. That little bit of a... Very big squeeze. Yeah, and then now it's yeah. dropped. So, so yes. Yeah. So I, I agree. I think silver is going to outperform gold going forward, at least for the next couple of months. And then we will see when it gets to this blue bottom band. If we see a bounce, then yeah, that then it's gonna reverse. Yeah, but I think the overall long term trend now is definitely in favor of of silver. As long as we have this kind of outlook, you know, on the charts that we do, I think silver ideally, will perform. Uh, yes, ideally, it comes down to the blue, maybe bounce, and then breaks it yeah. to the bounce, yeah. and then it gets to that green bottom band. That is the long term target for me. If it does that, it would be, you know, that that scenario 
coming down, bouncing, and then breaking to the downside. That would be very bearish. For yeah, yeah. for the ratio, but very good for the metals. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 So yeah, it's uh, it's great to finally be be here. I mean, looking at the ratio, it, it's it's uh, the past few years, you know, with that grinding. Yes. Very, very, very frustrating, and the miners yeah. has definitely, you know, uh, performed very poorly during that period because you know overall inflation has just skyrocketed. You know, um, mm -hmm. so yeah, it's it it's kind of a you have a correlation between the miners and the and this ratio, right? Yeah, that's a a a chart that I did, and also a video that I did. If you look at the silver to gold ratio, and you overlay. Yeah. Silver miners, the SIL uh, and the GDX, uranium, I mean, yeah. the, the URA and the COPEX, COPX, there is a big correlation of when silver outperforms big time that all the miners in general, they just go uh, follow that trend. So, okay. Okay. I'll check out that chart of yours. Yeah. Please yeah. do. Please do. Yeah. So, yeah, later on. Good. Yeah. All right. Well, Burak, 40 charts, 44. No, yeah, now you can pack up and go to 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 see some uh, some soccer or football yeah, is the exactly. correct word. Football, 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 please. Yeah, yeah exactly. Europe. Football, not soccer. <laughs> <laughs> Big difference. Big difference. Yeah, That's we're in England. I mean, I'm in England. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> no soccer. <laughs> <laughs> we have a lot of American followers, but it's it's football. Yes. I will. Yes, I agree yeah, on that. They so. appreciate the football yeah. word yeah. coming yeah. from Britain, <laughs> even though they mostly use hands. But that's a different. That's a different uh, yeah. discussion. So. <laughs> Good, Burak. Well, thank you for. Uh, well, you actually woke me up. So, but anyways, thank you for doing this <laughs> this video. Well, thanks for thanks for waking up. I mean, uh, <laughs> you're gonna have uh, uh, a bit of a late night tonight. It's already coming to it, one o'clock, one a.m. for you. So yeah, then I need to upload. So oh. it's one more hour basically, and uh, yeah, it will be yeah. three hours. Four hours worth yeah. of sleep but hey and that's not the first time so yeah it's been a while since we got together again so we should probably do one um before the 20th of july cool let's do that right four weeks time yeah. so in in one month time before one month is over like before 20th of july maybe that week before the 20th of july we should do one more that's the date that's the deal yeah i will keep you up on right. that so we can to these videos uh, i know people they they love them very much so uh mm -hmm. that's very good okay borak have a uh have a great evening and uh yeah have a great trip to europe excuse me to to germany yes and uh, have some have some free time and uh we will thank see you. you in the next one thank you guys bye yes bye guys bye